So today we're going to take a look at these heated insoles. They sent these to me so that I can show them to you. So I'm going to show you what you get, how to set them up. I'm going to do some heat tests on them. I'm going to show you some different options that they have, show you the app that's included. And then I'm also going to show you another pair of heated insoles that are just like these, but different. So first you get the heated insoles. And by the way, you can trim these down just like you do any other insole. They do have the cutting lines up on the top, but you just want to be careful where you cut because the heat is coming right up here at the ball of your foot underneath your toes. So make sure you're following the guideline here and that you're ordering the correct size uh, before you go ahead and decide to cut those. Next thing you get is a charger. And this is a dual uh, charger, USB-C, that goes into the backside of the heel. And it has one wall adapter. So you wanna make sure that you're just not using any old USB-C to try to charge these. You need to use the charging cable that comes with it so that you can charge both of these at the same time. You also get a, uh, a, a dust bag. So when you're not using these, you can keep them in the bag and keep them free from any debris or any dirt. So the insole. We're gonna look at it first before we put it into a boot or a shoe or even a slipper. So on the back side here, you've got a power button and you can see there is a red light on and that, it, and that red light is indicating that it is high heat. I'm warming these up so that you can see uh, how well they work and they have it on both of the heels. Now, one thing that I would say about these insoles is that if you're gonna use these in a hunting boot or in a winter boot, you just wanna be careful to keep that flap up like that so that uh, when you do slide it down into your boot, you're not going to accidentally power that off. Uh, that is something that can happen. And so you just need to pay attention to that. Now, this other pair of insoles is uh, remote controlled. And so uh, all you can do with the remote control is uh, turn up the heat and lower the heat. You got to power these on first, slip them into your boot, and then, uh, and then you're going to be able to control the temperature. One thing that you're not going to know is if they are powered on or not, because uh, you're not going to be able to see the light indicator. These are app controlled. What you want to download is the Warm Life app. And then on that app, you're going to be able to see when your insoles are connected. And you're also going to be, see, be able to see the temperature and control the temperature. I just want to run a heat test for you just to, see, just to show you that they are working. And then we'll take a look at the app. So down here at my heel, I'm running 66 degrees up here in the heating zone. And by the way, I got these on hot. I'm sitting at 112 right now. 112. So again, the heel, that one is 70, and the heating element is 121. 121. Now we're going to take a look at the app, and I'm going to show you how these are controlled by the app and the features that are available on the app. Okay, so when you first get these uh, on the app, you notice in the upper left-hand corner, you got a left foot and a right foot. Now, before those are connected, you're going to have to hit this settings button, and then it's going to find the new insoles, or if you have heated socks that are used by this app, uh, those are going to be found right here. So it's going to find them immediately, then it's going to connect them, and you can see, you can disconnect if you want to, but you have to confirm everything that you do. So um, what we're going to do now is going to go ahead and connect these once again, show you how easy it is. I'm just going to click it down here, confirm that and then my other one and confirm that as well. Now, because I did shut these off, the heat has the, the heat level has dropped. But what we're gonna notice here is that I can control all of that heat, but right in the middle of the screen, there's a little thermometer and you can see that I'm controlling that heat with my finger. If you look at the back of the insoles, those are red. And then when I change the temperature, it's going to change with the temperature. So there's cool and then there's medium. And then you can see on the gauge uh, the temperatures that are available. Down here at the low, you can go to 86 degrees, 120 degrees, all the way up to 158 degrees. Now, on the app, uh, again, over here on the clear right, there are a pair of socks if you are using heated socks. Um, I do have heated socks that use the same app. I really do like them. They do an excellent job. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning uh, about trimming these down for your hunting boots, you know, these aren't just for hunting boots and they're not just for winter boots. I got to thinking about this after I had my first pair that uh, I didn't really like this first pair that were not app controlled. Um, 
to be in my boot and then I get out into the timber and I realize, oh no, one's not on, one's not working. Cause you're not gonna know that until you feel one foot hot and one foot cold. And then you're just <laughs> stuck in the tree stand or out in the timber and you gotta take your boot off and then you gotta power it back on and do all of those things. Now with the app, you can see if it's on, you can see if it's off, you can connect it from the tree stand without having to take your boot off. And that's super duper handy. I really like that feature. If you're not a hunter or if you don't have these in your winter boots, these are also going to go in a pair of evening slippers, you know, just keep your, your feet warm and cozy on, on a winter's evening when you're sitting there watching TV or reading a good book. Now, ooh, that's really hot right there. Really hot right there. Let's check that. 120 degrees. So if, if you had your foot, now just think of this, if this was in a boot or in a slipper and your foot was on top of that, you got your body heat to go right, right along with the heat that's in here. You're going to heat that up real quick to 160 degrees. We're just going to trim these down with a pair of scissors and uh, I'm just going to slip them into a pair of slippers for the time being. And then uh, I will be using these uh, tomorrow morning when I go out into a tree stand. And then I will report back uh, tomorrow night, let you know how well I like these. Okay, so just a couple of things about these heated insoles. Number one, if you are wearing these in your hunting boots and you're wearing big wool socks, uh, you just wanna make sure that uh, you got plenty of room for your feet to breathe because these get really, really hot. And you can see that the, the uh, heel of that is really got a pretty thick heel to it. And so, uh, you know, your, your boots, typically like my boots, they're oversized boots so that I can wear a couple pair of socks in the winter time. You're not gonna need a couple pair of socks in the winter time uh, with the heated insoles. So that's a, a really big deal to me. Also, uh, you wanna make sure that, that they are oversized uh, to the point that you can fit an insole in there. So most people do that. They buy a little bit bigger pair of boots so that they can have uh, the big wool socks or the heavy insulated socks. Uh, another thing that I would say about these is that if you do have heated socks, you don't want to use heated socks with the heated insoles. It's going to be one or the other, but not both. So uh, that's a, a very key thing. You don't want to overheat your feet, get them all hot and sweaty. And then, uh, you know, if the, when these do shut down after a couple of hours or after a few hours, then, uh, then your feet are just going to get cold because they're wet. So uh, one or the other, but not both. And then the last thing that I would say is that these are just, these are like a dream come true. I tell you what, if you sit out in the, uh, the sub-zero temperatures uh, in a tree stand and you're not moving, you need something to keep you warm. I use heated vests, I use heated socks, heated insoles. I do everything that I can to keep my body warm. And uh, you know, when you're dealing with the extremities, your, your toes and your fingers are the first things that really seem to get super cold. So uh, this is really gonna take care of that for you. I definitely recommend these. I recommend the heated socks. I recommend heated vest. I recommend anything that's going to keep your body warm in the frigid temperatures, especially these insoles.